Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. I'm glad to have you. Today I'm just going to do just kind of a little bit of an update of what I've been doing. I have not been uploading quite as much. There's been so much going on this summer that's just keeping me distracted and doing other things. So I hope you have a little patience with me, but we'll get back to this soon, I hope. So I wanted to start off, I got a gift in the mail, and this is one from one of my subscribers, Mary, at Mary's Nest. She just started a new channel, so I'll put a link to her channel. You go check her out, it would be wonderful. I had the pleasure of meeting her when I visited Texas in April, and she's just such a sweet lady. and. So she just sent me this, and we're going to open it up and see what's in it. There's a lot of packing in here. Oh, this is beautiful. Joshua 24:15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Mary, this is beautiful. Thank you. And there's more to it. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the same brand as the measuring bowl that I bought in San Antonio when I went to Bucky's. And this is like a salt shaker. And it's so cute. It's the nice ceramic. Thank you, Mary. And now we'll see what this is. And then she got me a book, Jesus Calling. Mary, thank you so much. I appreciate it and I treasure our friendship. And I just hope that we get to visit again soon. So thank you. All right, so for more of what I've been doing, this is my walk-in pantry. And I love this. I have all my beautiful jars in here. But because of the, the unnatural heat for our area and the dryness, we have had no rain since I think sometime in May. It is so dry here. For the first time since we built the house, we had mice get in. We're not sure exactly where, but our neighbors are all having the same problem. And what we, we're pretty sure it's because it's just so dry, there is no water. And also, it's been over 100 for a while now. That's not typical for us. So, they got in my pantry, so we have had to go through this and take everything out, wash it with bleach and water, wash down all the shelving, and it looks like hopefully we've got them all now, but this was a number of days of just very hard work, and we're, we're not done. We have more cleaning to do, and then put my other foods back in here that we didn't want in here until we knew they were gone. So this is what has kept me very busy, but this is my walk-in pantry. And back there is my freezer, and over here is canned goods. They didn't get to this side, so didn't have to do all of that. But boy, was this... A lot of time and effort so it's kept me pretty busy. So in addition to having being invaded by mice which to me they are so horrible but we have also been finishing up on dealing with the grasshoppers and that right there was four fruit trees. There were two apples, a peach, and a cherry. 
and there was fruit on the cherry and the two apples. There's, I, I think I'm going to lose three of them for sure. This one apple tree in front might survive. It has a few leaves, but very few. So we don't know if it's going to make it. And my barn cat, who's supposed to be feral, is rubbing against my legs and wanting attention. <laughs> yes, I know. And right here, this small spot, that had rhubarb in it. There's no sign. It may come back next year since it, a lot of it's underground. We'll just have to see. And that garden <laughs> makes me want to cry. I had roses, iris, Russian sage, that big, beautiful lavender, um, hollyhocks, all of it, it's pretty much all gone. And if they survive at all, I'll be very surprised. So that one's really tough to take. Now this is right in front of my porch. And fortunately, they got one of the many, well, two of the many roses in there. And one looks like it might not make it. It still might. But they, they didn't totally kill my beautiful Just Joey Rose, although they got a bit of it. But it's still alive, and I'm thankful for that. I haven't even come out and weeded, mostly because I was hoping that the grasshoppers would eat them. No such luck. <laughs> they ignored the weeds and have eaten the plants. And these are my grapevines. And they did eat mostly around the bottom of them. These were covered with leaves. They left a little more of that, but it was pretty full. But they ate all of the developing grapes off of them. So there won't be any harvest, but at least my vines are still alive. And that beautiful peach tree was beautiful was solid with leaves and just gorgeous and it had a lot of fruit on it and they ate a lot of the fruit they ate a lot of the leaves but it's still alive and there's some peaches on there that are damaged that I'm going to take off I left them hoping that that would attract the grasshoppers away from anything else but I'm so thankful that the grasshoppers have slowed way, way down. We just have a few now, well, pretty much like we would normally have. But now they're big ones. But there aren't as many, so they're not eating as much. And this lilac was huge and full. And they have eaten most of it. It's still alive, but the good thing is I was planning on cutting it back and moving it anyway. So I guess they pruned it for me, so it's not as much to do. And in all of these pots, I had lettuce, I had okra, I had all kinds of... That was part of that huge Greek oregano. They have stripped almost everything in these pots but they missed one okra plant and I got one piece of okra off it the other day so woohoo I got some okra this year and they did eat this comfrey down to the ground but thankfully it's coming back and something's still eating on it but it's it's hanging on and so I'm very grateful for that because comfrey is such a valuable herb to have. So as long as it's not gone, I'm very happy. And this is my, was my vegetable garden. I have left the weeds and now that the grasshoppers are calming down, I have to get out here and pull all of the weeds, which is most of what's here. For some crazy reason, 
they didn't eat the tomato plants and some of the pepper plants, and I'm very, very thankful for that. They have been munching on the tomatoes as they ripen, so I still have to come out and work on it and try and keep them away. But again, they've completely ignored the weeds. ate a lot of the strawberries but they left quite a few too so the the plants I believe will make it they just are very stressed and we're not going to get strawberries off of them and in those grow pots against the fence those are the sugar snap peas and for some reason they didn't eat those either and I've been able to harvest a few of the peas but they have eaten all along that fence was raspberries. They have eaten almost everything. There's a few leaves. And right here, these were raspberry and blackberry, and they've eaten most of those plants too. But they're hanging on, so that's a good thing. That's so many weeds I need to come pull now and continue to try and salvage whatever I can from this garden. And this was the small peach tree that Shana and I worked so hard to plant and dug out all these big rocks out of the clay. And it never had a chance. The grasshoppers ate it right away, so it's gone. And this bed was all of my squash and melons and tomatillos. And all I have left now are a ton of weeds and the hop vines, which they ate a pretty good amount of, but they didn't kill them. So they are still hanging on and they still have some leaves, which is great. So now what I'm going to need to do as soon as it gets cooler, because I'm not going to work out here when it's over 100 when I don't have anything to work, <laughs> anything to harvest. Once it cools off a little, I'll come out and pull all these weeds and get this ready and maybe try and plant something for a fall harvest. So that's what I've been doing. Well, it's afternoon now and I went out and it, it's so smoky from the California fires up near Shasta Lake near Redding. It's just terrible. We, we're not making any power because the smoke is so bad it keeps the solar from really making power. And it's not very pleasant to breathe either. But I went out and this is my big harvest this year. So I have garlic scapes. I've got this little handful of raspberries a few peppers, some sugar snap peas, and a couple of sun gold tomatoes. And you know what? I'm thankful. At least I'm getting something out of that garden. And I am going to try and put in a fall garden to see how far I get. We still have the grasshoppers, but I'm hoping that they won't get everything by the time I put it in. So thank you for watching Vicki's Country Home. I'm so glad you come to visit and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. But I just I'm so thankful that you all are there and so supportive. God bless, and we will talk again soon.